Hey guys, so I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for a while. I've like dabbled with the videos here and there. And so I guess like we have so much going on right now. It's like the perfect time to start. And so like this morning I came out to feed my animals and I could hear this noise. It was like shh noise. And I just thought, oh, maybe it's nothing. But then I kept coming back over here and I was like, no, something's going on. Like, is there water on or what's the deal? And so I actually like followed the noise and as I'm following it, it's my propane tank leaking gas. So that definitely is not safe, right? Like that's my first thought. So I panicked, I called my husband because he's out of town and I'm like, this propane tank is leaking, um, but I don't know what to do. He's like, call 911. So I was like, well, I don't really want to call 911 on that. I don't know if I'm supposed to call 911. Um, so I looked it up and I found a different company for propane in Texas or whatever, call this number. And so I did, but she said that I had to get with my actual company that fills the tank. So I called them, but they're, well, he called them, but they're busy right now. And so they are not able to get out here until I don't know what time. It's like 2.30. They're still not here. So, sorry guys, I have a cold and I have, my allergies are here now. And so I'm just all messed up. Sorry. Okay. Um, so I don't know. I've never had to deal with this kind of situation. They said to leave it alone. Um. We asked if we need to, like, put tape on it or what we need to do, and they just said, leave it alone. Don't put any tape on it because that's going to trap air into it. I mean, you guys, I don't know. Um, I probably honestly shouldn't even be out here walking around. I can't really smell anything, um, but I, like, my allergies and my cold are affecting that. So, yeah, we've just been, like, hanging out. We had the vet come by because one of our goats got hurt, and I'll share about that here in a minute, but, um, yeah. So then our vet came out today. Actually, he's not even our vet. Like, well, he is now. I've never had a vet for my big animals, and so it feels so good to know that I have somebody uh, that I can call if anything happens to the goats or to Olivia, and, and um, he's actually going to help us with Olivia's hooves and I'm so excited for that because she has struggled we have struggled to find people to help us trim her hooves and the girl that was doing it she actually stopped um, trimming hooves because she's I think she's going into the Marines or something like that and so <clears throat> so Olivia's hooves are really grown out and I know it's really really bad for her joints and and just her her in general it's not good for the for any animal to be walking on overgrown hooves and so um, they're gonna be able to take care of that but Winnie was uh, Winnie was I guess trying to jump out or I don't know what she did I'm sure she was just trying to jump out because the grass is always greener on the other side you know like duh grass is always greener on the other side I want what they have um no so she ended up tearing her teat and it wasn't like completely open but it's a pretty big gash and so the baby hasn't been able to drink the milk from that side <clears throat> and we cleaned it up and everything <clears throat> I'm not gonna talk much more because my voice is just shot but anyway so we cleaned it we cleaned it up with iodine and uh, did what we could. She wouldn't let us touch it. And it was just me and my daughter Gabby doing it. And so that was just hard enough as it is. Um, trying to have my daughter clean it while I hold on to her and like wrestle her around. So when my husband gets home tonight, we're going to um, flip her over and we have to milk it out. Because that's what the vet came here to do because she got so swollen, just full of milk. And so he came here, we got her flipped, I had to hold her down, he held her back legs and he's just like squeezing all the milk out and it just shot right out and she like yelled because it hurt so bad. And uh, I guess like that's what you learn 
you know, farming's not easy. It, yeah, it really has challenged me. This, the, this way of living has really been challenging me lately. And it's like, like some days you want to quit, but then you think about it and you're like, I can't, like, I can't give up on this. I have all this land. I have, you know, I have dreams. And because I suck at it right now, it's just right now. It's just for a moment. And so I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep pushing through and it's going to hurt and it's going to, there's going to be hard days and there's going to be days that I want to quit, but I just have to keep pushing. So, um, he got her on antibiotics and got her all cleaned up again and fixed her up and squeezed all that milk out and uh, now it's just our job to continue squeezing the milk out. So that's going to be fun. Um, yeah, but it's really bright out here. So I'm going to film the rest of this video later. But I just wanted to show you guys that propane link because it's pretty crazy, huh? I've never seen, never had to deal with anything like this. Um, hopefully it goes good. Yeah, it just, it really, it scares me when things like this happen, you know? And... But it's another learning lesson, like, you need to be prepared because you never know what's going to happen. What's going to fall apart next? I mean, this house is an old, old house. It was built in the 70s, and it needs completely, like, redone, mostly. Um, it's right there. So, it just, I don't know. Being an adult is hard, you know? Farming is hard. Life is hard. I guess we just have to pick our heart, right? This white one's a girl, and this black one's a boy, and my goat is her. But she didn't, but she, she, she didn't marry, she didn't breed the, the, she didn't breed the black goat, the, like, my other, my other daddy's goat did. Hey, let me see, let okay, me see. Okay, 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 I can do it. Hey, guys, um, this is the little baby goat here. That's mine, the black one over there. That's just walking, but but um, I think we should just do like a little tour right now because my see we didn't get that much eggs, so these are all our chickens that you can see and ducks. We only have two ducks. They're over there, over there. 
And then, I guess that's just all it. So, well, it's kind of not all the it's. And you are a silver pet bunny. This is our bunny here. He's super cute. And we can hold him, but he scratches. And his name's Bun Bun. He's so cute. Can't you see so close? He's awesome. And he's actually scared. Look, my big sister. So, we're just like gonna like do stuff today and yeah, just hang out at the farm. I used to hang out on the farm. Hello! <coughs> can you see me? I can see you. And I actually do it with my family and stuff. And I don't like hanging around like my sisters do. So that's what the perfect thing is. Mm -hmm. We'll use it later. Poor Winnie. Ah. Mm. Oh, I know. It's your fault, Winnie. I should have just ate you. Dad. Really? Why would you say that in a video? We're not going to... No, Dad. Well, that's what it looks like. Okay, now can I... Oh. Okay, she's good. Bye-bye. I win.